Hello, chemistry class. It's Mr. Ng, and I want to I wanted to walk you through the numbers for your uh, specific heat mini lab. So here, um, it looks like I have all the data that I need. I have my initial temperature and my final temperature of the water, and I have the specific heat of water. This is a, a constant, meaning this is this doesn't change. I, I didn't look this up in lab. I just know that. Um, water always is, has a specific heat of 4.184 joules per gram Celsius. I put the wrong units there. And then finally, the mass of my water, um, I put in 50 mils of water. That translates into 50 grams of water. Seems pretty easy. And of course, as my water was cooling down, or I mean, as my water was heating up, my metal was cooling down, so it went from 50 to 30 degrees Celsius. So again, I have a change in temperature. And then as I was doing lab, I measured the mass of the metal on a scale, and that was 47.92. All these numbers put together will help me find the specific heat of that one metal, um, and that will help me determine the identity of that metal. So let's get started. The first uh, question here is show the math to calculate the heat gained by water. The heat gained by water is here, and that's going to be our Q. And if you recall, Q is equal to M cat, M C delta T. So let's just fill in the gaps here. Our M, Q is equal to M. Our M is going to be 50 grams times uh, my C, which is the specific heat of water, 4.184 joules per gram Celsius times my delta T. So it looks like it gained four degrees, right, Celsius. So four Celsius. Notice how the units cancel, Celsius cancels, grams cancel. And if I do this math correctly, uh, I just multiply it across, I get 836.8 uh, joules. Great. All right, so I'm gonna write that here. 836.8 joules. So what is gained by the water is lost by the metal. Heat, I, I should have written this better. This is the heat lost by the metal, right? The, the metal got cooler. And of course, whatever is gained by the water must have been lost by the metal. So the metal lost 836.8 joules. Does that make sense? As the water was getting warmer, the metal was losing heat, it was obvious that the metal was giving its heat to the water, right? And what we want is actually the specific heat of this metal. We want that little c. And if I rearrange this, uh, this equation here, I will get little c is equal to big Q or little q divided by m delta t. So let's plug that in. The specific heat is equal to q, which I know is 8. 36.8 joules. I'm going to make that negative because I'm going to lose temperature divided by the mass, which is 47.92 grams times, look, this lost 20 degrees, so negative 20 Celsius, negative 20 degrees Celsius. These two negatives cancel out. So my specific heat is 0.8 seven three joules per gram celsius all right point eight seven three joules per gram celsius and this is a great number because i know that the metal is aluminum and so it's going to have a specific heat close to point eight nine thank you very much for watching good luck on your lab